Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is T Dub coming at you. I'm on today. I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be building some of these trigger systems for my snares that I'm gonna be setting, and uh, I'm gonna bring y'all along with me. So we'll see y'all then. I'm gonna build some right now. So hang in there. Thought I had I got one built here. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Here's two I got built already, so I'm gonna build some more like this and uh, just show y'all how I do it. A lot of people do it different, different strokes for different folks, but you know, whatever. This is a snare I just got through building. Okay, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna get us two pieces of stick like this. And I'm going to cut off, I don't know, however long that is. It's uh, about 12 and a half inches, and we're going to have to have one about, about 8 inches. So, uh, I got a saw here somewhere. I know, because it's mine, and I've seen it. There it is. <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to cut this one off here. Thank you. I ain't jugging y'all too much. Okay, there's that one. We want one eight inches. on the short one you don't really have to but you can uh, just make a couple places around the edge like this so your rope don't slip just a couple notched out places like so, so your rope don't slip. You want to take and shave it down like this. So we're gonna do that, it might take a minute. Actually, I'm gonna cheat. Don't try this at home. I cheated a little bit, so anyway, you just want to get that down all the way. Actually, I don't have to do that because this is this is pine, by the way. So that's what we're looking for. And I know if you're in the woods in a survival situation, you can't do it this way, but you're not right now. Anyway, you can pre-make this stuff at home uh, if you're going to the woods. And this one, you you see how I got one? One here. It's going that way. And then down here, we got another one, and it's going the opposite way. And it's, on, and it's at a 90 degree angle. You got one here on this side and then one here on this side. This one's up top, this one's on the side. So, and then we wanna, we wanna do the end for this for putting your bait. So, uh, I'm gonna, let me do this right quick. And then, whew, this is gonna be a, this is hard pine, so it's a little harder. You want to come down about, I don't know, 
an inch and a half or so from the end. Ain't got to go real deep. Just deep enough to you want to push this down a little bit. You want to just take it. Boy, that's tall. Tell you what, I'll use this. Uh, I'll use this guy. That's what you want, something like that. Okay, you want to go down about five inches and do it on this side. Or this side, it doesn't matter, just as long as it's on one side or the other and not straight in line with it so this one i think we'll we'll do it this way just to see if it's going to work this particular way i'll do this about five inches down mark it cut it Just like that, boom, boom. And you're gonna see this technique does work. I will catch a coon. So this will be like that, that'll be like that. There you have it. That's not the right stick. We'll get the right stick and do it again. This is the right stick. So that'll be on there like this. This will be tied to a tree. This will be tied to your snare with your springs on your limb or whatever. This will be tied to it. This will be hooked to the, the tree part. And uh, I'll show you how that I'll show you how that does tomorrow. But that's how that is today, and I'm going to just sharpen this end off a little bit, and uh, it'll look like this. That way you, you tie the bait to this end of it or whatever for coons, and uh, you'll see it will catch. Till then, I'll see y'all next time. This is part one, or this is part two of a four-part series. So we're going to be... Uh, we built we built the snares already <clears throat> we built these i've got to build some more of these but i'm not going to bore y'all with that and in fact i'll probably wait and build some out out tomorrow with sticks and stuff from the from the woods but uh this will be a four-part series i know i said three-part but it's gonna be a four-part built the snares built these tomorrow when my grandson gets here we're gonna set them and then the following day friday we're going to check them, and I guarantee you we're going to have a coon or two, or maybe even a bobcat or a coyote. So we'll see y'all then. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, please. It helps me out a lot. I'm just get, I'm just trying to get started. I don't know a whole lot about it, but uh, I'm going to learn, and any, any comment that can help me to do better, like show my face when I'm talking, uh, I'd appreciate any comments. <clears throat> Please, no snide, no snide remarks, because I won't even, I'll, I'll just delete them. <clears throat> but, I mean, a little constructive criticism is fine, but when you get on there and you you be nasty, I just ain't nobody got time for that. Um, like I said, I'm just getting started, and I appreciate all your support. 
And uh, if you like and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And until then, I'll see you uh, tomorrow. Thanks, guys.